Grade 5 math number 50, dividing decimals, the important divisor, models can help. The divisor can tell us how many groups the dividend is split into, or it can tell us how many are in each group. It's very important to choose the correct one. Here we have two whole numbers. 15 divided by 5, does it mean how many groups? That there's five groups, so we put three in each group. Or does it mean that there's five in each group, so we end up with three groups? It's very important with decimals. Take a look at this. Do we have how many groups or how many in each group? 21 divided by 3. Is it three groups with 7 or is it seven groups with 3? Emma had $21 in $1 bills. She put them into three piles. How many dollars are in each pile? Well, for this one, it tells us that there are three piles. See that? And that there are seven that are going to end up being in each pile because we have three piles. So that would be this one up here. See? And then for this one, it would be Emma had $21 in $1 bills, and she put them into piles of $3. How many piles did she have? So now we have piles with $3 in them. See the difference? This one is 3 with 7 in it. This one's 7 with 3 in it. So when dividing decimals, be careful to accurately group them. The divisor is going to tell us what to do. In this equation, the 0 0.50, the 50 hundredths, is our divisor. It tells us what to do. Which is the correct model? This group up here or this group down here? Do we have 1 and 50 hundredths divided into 50 hundredths? Or do we have 1 and 50 hundredths divided into 5 that makes 30 hundredths in each group of the 5? So if you said this one, you're right, because this one is not 50 hundredths, is it? This one would accurately describe, these models would accurately describe the equation. How about here? We've got one full card, and then, so that made five of them, and then the sixth one is the, 20, the last point two, the 20 hundredths or two tenths, see? So does this equation model this one, or does it model this one down here? So is one and 20 hundredths divided by six this one, where it's divided into six pieces? Or is 1 and 20 hundredths divided by 6 this one, where there's two groups of 60 hundredths? See how there's no decimal point in the 6? So it's not this one. It's into 6 groups. See? So if you said this one, you're right. It's very important. Now, when we're making models to help us with our division, it doesn't matter how we cut them as long as they contain the correct number of squares. If our equation was 3 divided by 75 hundredths and you had squares of 100, the best way to do it was by breaking them into groups of 25 hundredths and then regrouping them to make 75s. See? That's what I did here. And it doesn't matter how I cut them. I could have cut the square card of 100 into 4 like this, or I could have cut the square card into lengths of 10, 20, and then 5, so that three of them were 75 hundredths, another three were 75 hundredths, another three were 75 hundredths, and then another three were 75 hundredths. So that would tell me that the answer is 4. See that? So it doesn't matter how you cut them, okay? As long as the number inside the squares that you cut them into are correct. So take a look at this. If we wanted to make models for this equation, 1 and 26 hundredths divided by 42 hundredths, we start with 126 squares, okay? What we do is we color 42 one color. So if you look very closely, I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, and 2 colored orange. Then I color 42 of them a second color. 1, 2, 3, 4, tens is 40 and two more makes 42 hundredths, because each square is a hundredth. Then I count how many are left that are still 
white that haven't been colored. And if there's 42 of them, then I know that we made three perfect groups of 42 hundredths and that the answer is three. What if after coloring them in, we came up with the wrong number, like 45? Well, then you may not have counted your squares correctly because we're, we're coloring them into groups of 42, okay? Or it might mean there's a remainder, okay? If it comes out perfect and even, then we know that there's three groups. Now, pay attention to how this says it's divided by 42 hundredths. What if we changed the divisor so that the equation said it was divided by 3? So now our divisor is telling us something else. We would start with 126 squares and split them immediately into three groups. Then we would count how many are in each of those groups and we would get our quotient. See? We would split them immediately into three groups. For this one, we would have to color 42 squares and then find out how many groups it gave us. See? Big difference. So, it's very important to know what the divisor is talking about. When you're making models to help you with the, the decimal division, it's really important to pay attention to what the divisor is telling you to do. Okay? And remember, it doesn't matter how, what how you cut them up. You could even cut them into single pieces as long as you know that you're paying attention to the divisor. Okay? I'll see you next video and I hope this was helpful. Bye.